Hi, I'm Pure Excellence, the most important political mind this side of the United States. But let's just explore this idea. I'm gonna pass it to my homeboy, James. James, go ahead and take this away. Six. The Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community presents, the Supreme Court uses up three vital cases including Trump's financial records. The Supreme Court will inform us how ready it is to protect Donald Trump. The Supreme Court revealed on Friday that it will hear Trump v. Mazars, a case including whether House detectives may obtain Trump's financial records probably including his tax forms from Trump's accounting firm. Mazars will be heard along with two other cases, Trump v. Vance and Trump v. Deutsche Bank, which likewise worry the scope of Trump's immunity from examination. Deutsche Bank, like Mazars, concerns a congressional subpoena. Vance includes a Manhattan district attorney's effort to obtain Trump's monetary records. The court's statement is not surprising. Shortly prior to Thanksgiving, the court stated a lower court decision that would have permitted your House Oversight Committee to impose a subpoena seeking Trump's records. That exact same order, nevertheless, required Trump's attorneys to formally ask the Supreme Court to examine that lower court choice on an extremely expedited basis. The cases will be heard in March. We will likely understand by the end of this June whether the subpoena from your house will be implemented. The stakes in these cases are huge, and work out beyond the concern of whether a particular subpoena might be imposed. A decision for Trump might provide the president broad new immunity from oversight that would extend far beyond this one case. Under existing law, Trump's legal arguments are exceptionally weak, so a choice embracing those arguments might totally rework the balance of power between Congress and the presidency. The Supreme Court described in Eastland v. United States Servicemen's Fund, 1975, that Congress's investigatory power is broad, and it encompasses subpoenas planned to collect information about a topic on which legislation may be had. In the Mazars case, lower courts concurred that your home subpoena appertains since the House is thinking about legislation that would enforce more powerful financial disclosure requirements on the President. Hence, since the requested files could inform Congress's choice about whether such legislation is essential, the files issue a topic on which legislation might be had. The court likewise said in Clinton v. Jones, 1997, that we have actually never ever recommended that the President, or any other official, has a resistance that extends beyond the scope of any action taken in a main capability. Thus, since your home seeks records unassociated to Trump's actions as President, he bases on particularly weak legal ground. That stated, a minimum of some members of the court have actually signaled that they wish to provide President sweeping brand new immunity from lawful investigations. In 1999, future Justice Brett Kavanaugh recommended that United States v. Nixon, 1974, the case requiring Nixon to turn over damning tapes that ended his presidency, was incorrectly decided. Kavanaugh, in fairness, later on praised the Nixon decision throughout his verification hearing as an example of judicial self-reliance, so it is uncertain whether he still holds to the views that he revealed in 1999. It is likewise uncertain whether four of Kavanaugh's colleagues would join him in a decision damaging Nixon. But to rule in Trump's favor in Mazars, the Supreme Court would need to leave a minimum of a few of its previous decisions governing Congress's oversight power and governmental resistance. If it does so, it could do significant violence to the concept that the president is not above the guideline of law.